Hello and welcome to a little live Tune In Tuesday this week. I usually pre-record these and then share them with you. But I wanted to take a little extra time this week and give you a real practice and guide you through it. Something new. Something a little bit different because we can all say things have been quirky in the world. And we, my experience is that we need our energy tools to navigate all of this wild time. So if it's uh, the smoke from fires that you've been dealing with that you need to filter out of your life, or if it's uh, the funky energy that you're hearing on the news or in the people around you who are stressed out over what's happening in the world or their personal lives, this practice that we're going to do today um, is something that's really easy that you can do to really what I consider it as, as a reset of your filter around your energy field. Sort of like you change your furnace filter before the season, um, uh, the, the winter begins. And by the way, I've been on a, I've been hunting flies all day because for some reason we got a whole bunch of flies in our house. So if you see me act funny, that's why you can laugh and enjoy my um, annoyance with all these little flies I've gotten probably 20 or 30 of them already today with my fly swatter and uh, maybe we should include that in the practice <laughs> getting rid of annoying energy so um, so join me in our meditation and I want to just point out that uh, I also posted a picture about 20 minutes ago on my Facebook page just to give you a visual idea of what we're going to do and in this practice after we go through the basics which I always like um, setting our energy grounding, setting our energy field, uh, calling our energy back to ourselves, clearing other people out of our head. We're gonna jump into cleaning out the layers in our aura bubble because our aura bubble isn't just a thing that's arms distance away from our body if our hand, arms are outstretched, but it's actually got layers just like our chakras. So first chakra root, our food shelter survival, at the base of the spine, second chakra, your sexual energy, your creative energy, your empathic sensitivity and feels. Third chakra, your power center, your will, where you exchange energy with the world, um, giving and receiving, you know, you work for money, <laughs> you give to a family member, they give back to you, hopefully. Your heart chakra, giving and receiving love and loving yourself where your true essence resides. Your communication space in the throat chakra, where you t speak to yourself and you speak to others, and you um, your psychic space, your analytical mind in the sixth chakra, your center of head space right here. Your crown, where you connect to source and you get your own information that drops into that conscious mind. So those are just a brief overview of the seven chakras that I practice with. And my belief is that our aura bubble, that energy field around us physically um, has a layer representing each of those chakras. So sometimes it's easier to work with those layers uh, when it comes to how we're interacting with the world because the ones that are in our body are more personal and sometimes when people get into our space that all the way into our physical space energetically um, it makes it a little trickier to see it clearly at times. So in this practice, what we're gonna do is sort of reset all of the space between those layers in the inner part of that uh, aura bubble, the layer between the first and second chakra. I think of it sort of like a jawbreaker. You're sucking on it and you see a new color and you see a new color and you see a new color. And those layers of our aura are like layers, are the, each represents a layer of our chakras. And so when we clear those out of any foreign energy, that's something that's not us. It could be just something that's generic out in society that's gotten in our energy field, or it could be something really personal, like uh, somebody sent us an energy whack because they were feeling competitive or were jealous, or, um, or they just were trying to say, hey, I need some boundaries, back up. Whatever it is, my um, encouragement to you is that you just take this time here while we gather and use your tools. And um, I'm gonna give you a tool to use. So let's just take a moment. And like, if you wanna take a brief moment to pop over and look at that image I posted, 
as you see there's a physical body with the auras indicated and then those those circles we're going to practice in this those layers of the aura um, I, I let, we're going to do it in this practice. We're going to clean them out with the electric blue color because that's a great color for cleaning out foreign energy, anything that's not you. Clearing that filter to reclaim your energy and then resetting it with liquid gold, which is a high frequency to your energy field. So take a moment, take a look at that image if you need it for a visual. Sometimes it really helps to see things with your eyes. And then hello mary carmen hello sabrina hello thank you all for joining me let's take a moment to close your eyes and take a deep breath when you're ready and notice that you're giving yourself this time this little break to reset your energy field to honor your frequency And first, bring your attention from that space where you're breathing and your eyes are closed and you're feeling into your body. Bring your attention to the base of your spine, the tip of your tailbone. Just notice that you have a grounding cord. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But if you don't, or if you do, just intend that you're going to create a brand new one fresh in this moment. And you're going to set that, let's see that energy run from the base of your spine, the tip of your tailbone, all the way down through the floor, through the layers of dirt and rock into the center of the earth, like a tree trunk that's deeply rooting into the earth to, to create a solid foundation for you as your physical experience as, as a soul in this body here on earth has access to this amazing foundation called Mama Earth. And just watch those roots wrap themselves around a beautiful crystal cave. Sort of like a geode, it's full of magical energy just for you. That crystal cave is like an anchor that helps your physical and spiritual body stay grounded here at, in your earth body experience as a soul that has access to a higher realm of consciousness. And then take that moment to notice the space around you, your aura bubble that I mentioned before we jumped into the medicine meditation. That energy field that's about fingertip distance away from your body with your arms outstretched, your bubble that surrounds you, defines where your energy begins and ends with the rest of the world. It's not just your body. There's an actual energy field around you. And take this moment to give your aura bubble a fresh color to define it. Whatever inspires you at this moment. Maybe it's a sunflower yellow. It's a sunset orange. Maybe it's a nice forest green. Whatever feels good for you in your energy field right now. Reset and paint that aura bubble a fresh color. Just intend that it's a fresh color that inspires you. And defines where energy where your energy ends and begins with the rest of the world it's a healthy boundary with your grounding cord and your aura bubble set notice that space in the center of your head behind your eyes between your ears your psychic space where you're maybe noticing what's happening in this moment you have your mind your analytical mind there but you also have your intuitive mind where you can tap into that other realm of sensing energy and directing energy with your visualization and imagination. So noticing the center of head space, take a moment to just clear it out of anything that's in there that's not serving you. You don't have to think it through really deeply. Just put a big fire hose straight in front of your third eye and hose it out, cleaning it out of any thoughts any distractions, any energy that wants to pull you to the past or into the future. Clearing your psychic space, your center of head space. And if anybody, any specific people pop into your head as you're trying to clear out that psychic space, just lovingly put them in a bubble like you're a little kid blowing bubbles and send that bubble back to them and pop it over their head so they can go back to themselves and you can have your own space. 
you have your center of head space, you've defined your energy field by painting your aura bubble and you're grounded. One more step before we get into our resetting our filters is notice that there's a big golden ball of light above your head. It's sparkling gold like the sun and it's there to reclaim your energy like a magnet from any place you're ready to call it back from. It doesn't cause anyone else harm to reclaim your energy. Just see that golden ball of light above your head begin to fill up and fill up with the amazing, powerful medicine that's your own essence being called back to you. There are many people, places, energy exchanges. Noticing that golden ball of light, getting really, really full of the good vibration that's your essence, your energy. Put a big bucket in there of the vibration of experimentation. I'm gonna experiment a little bit tonight. Just allowing yourself to play and experiment and reach up and pop that golden ball of energy and watch it fill you up from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes and all that space inside your aura bubble is getting full of your own energy and this playful experimentation that we're doing tonight. Wonderful. Now that you've done the basics and your energy field is in alignment with your essence, with your truth, with what you're here to do as a soul, just take a moment to imagine, use your imagination like, a, like your playful child, anything is possible, to begin to look at yourself. Maybe you look at yourself from within your third eye or maybe you look at yourself at a distance, like you're on a screen at a movie theater, your body with a bubble around it that has many layers. Just relax and let go of any piece of your analytical mind that wants to make it a look a certain way or feels like, oh, maybe I'm not seeing this or maybe I'm seeing it wrong. You're seeing it just the right way for you in this very moment. So noticing your own physical body and the layers of your aura bubble around it. We're going to begin by to replace that, clean out that energy filter, <laughs> reset it at fresh with the color electric blue. Like think of a blue neon light. And you're going to run that color or intend that the inside of your aura bubble is painted like you're inside the aura bubble painting it with the electric blue color. That's to clean out anything that's got stuck in your energy filter that's between your aura bubble and you, your physical body. That's where you, and then you're, you're going to step past your first chakras layer where your food shelter survival is and look at the space between your first and second chakra, that layer of your aura bubble. Just think of it like that jawbreaker. It's another layer and run the electric blue or send electric blue light energy through the space in your aura bubble that's in between layer one and layer two, chakra one and chakra two. Again, just trust and relax and don't get attached to what it looks like. It's your imagination, your intention gets to create your reality in this moment. And now bring your attention to that space between the layers two and three and intend that electric blue light is run through to clean out that filter in your aura bubble, the layer between your second chakra where your creative energy is and your third chakra where your power center is. Bringing your attention to the space between layer three, your power center and your heart and run some electric blue in that layer of your aura bubble. 
That electric blue light is cleaning any gunk out that gets in the way. Anybody else's energy, anything else that's in your space that's not serving you. No need to think it through. Just know that the only thing that's going to be cleared out is that which isn't in your highest good. And then notice the space between your heart and your throat chakra, your communication space, and run a layer of electric blue light through that part of your aura bubble. Stepping into that space between your throat chakra and your psychic space and run an electric blue light through that layer of your aura bubble. Cleaning it out, moving any funky energy out between what you're allowed to say and what you see. Any funky energy that may limit what you're allowed to tell other people about what you believe or know to be true. And then bringing your attention to that space between your thir third eye, your sixth chakra, and your crown where you get your guidance from your higher self and it drops in. And run electric blue between that any ways that that filter is congested and blocked. Any ways that that space between what you're allowed to know, your guidance from your higher self and see consciously in your mind to do something about has been gunked up by other people's energy or what's happening in the world. Running that electric blue through the sixth and seventh chakra, the space between the sixth and seventh chakra layer. And then bringing your attention to that space above your crown chakra on the outside of your aura bubble and run an electric blue around the outside of your aura bubble. And we know you painted it a fresh color, but we're just cleaning it out with this electric blue. We're using that to sort of clean the filters between each layer of your energy field. Great. Wonderful. Now we're gonna go in reverse and run some liquid gold energy in all those spaces that we just cleaned out with the electric blue to reclaim that energy space for you, to make sure that all of those spaces between the layers of your aura bubble are set at your frequency and are all refreshed and in present time. So notice the exterior of your or a bubble and give it a, li a liquid gold paint job. Maybe dip it like you would dip an Easter egg in liquid gold in your imagination. And then go to that space between your seventh and sixth chakra and run liquid gold or intend that there's a layer of liquid gold between your seventh and sixth chakra of your aura bubble. Fresh filter set at your frequency, bringing your attention between your sixth and fifth, your psychic space, your analytical mind, and your voice, your communication space, running that liquid gold between those two layers of your aura bubble. Bringing your attention now to that space between your communication and your throat chakra and your heart, running the liquid gold in that energy space that space in your chakra bubble, your aura bubble, sorry. <laughs> and then bringing your attention to that space between your heart chakra and your power center to clean it out and reset it in your frequency, in your energy with this liquid gold, a new filter. Bringing your attention to the space between your third chakra, that solar plexus power center, and your creative second chakra, and run liquid gold through that space, that layer of your aura bubble, reclaiming it for you. And the space between your second chakra and your root, your survival space, your food, shelter, and money, cleaning that out and resetting it with gold energy. And then all the way into the inside of your aura bubble. And you are going to just paint that inner layer of your aura bubble 
between you and the first chakra with your golden light. By doing this, you are resetting the filter. You've replaced the filter of your energy field with the rest of the world one layer at a time. It's that easy. And just bring your attention back to that grounding that you have from your root chakra, that anchor that's connecting you to the earth. And notice how amazingly vibrant and radiant your aura bubble is now. And if anybody has gotten into the center of head space in your psychic space during this practice, just take a moment to take a broom and sweep it out. Take that fire hose and blow it clean of anybody else's energy, including mine. And once again, call your energy back to you and let it fill you in from the top of your head to the tips of your fingers and tips of your toes. When you're ready, you can take a deep breath and open your eyes and stretch. Mm. Hi, Sue. <laughs> oh, thank you all for joining me and please use this practice again and again. It's really easy. It doesn't even have to take as long as I just guided you with because when you're doing it on your own, you don't have to explain it. You can just visualize the liquid the electric blue through each of the layers and then the liquid gold. And make sure you do use that liquid gold to reset it because you don't want to leave it at the electric blue. That's sort of the clean out and the reset of foreign energy. You want to set it at your frequency so that the filter is fresh and ready for you. Um, hi, Bria. <laughs> Oh, and so just so you know, we are, um, my empath strength training group is open to enrollment right now. It only happens twice a year in the spring and in the fall. And I'm taking new um, students in my empath strength training group until October 12th. And the next time uh, we'll open up is probably in May of next year. So if you're interested in practicing with me, we do a deeper dive. Um, I go through about 15 or 20 minutes of education in each session where I teach tools and then we dive into practicing them and there's an entire oh two years worth of library of, of information um, that you can access from past practices so if you're looking for some support if you you know need that yoga class to go to because you won't practice yoga by yourself at home I'm like that um, consider joining me in the empath strength training group it's only $45 a month and members get a discount on my private sessions. Um, I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I will check there and, and respond to you when I have a chance. So, oh, it took that long for my whiny little dog to let herself in the room. She was upset to get locked out for this. That was an accident. Have a wonderful evening. Oh, and we are practicing tonight in empath strength training. If you uh, want to join us tonight a full hour class is happening in uh, six o'clock pacific okay take care